This year is particularly significant for us, as it is the first year the New Zealand Pavilion has been located at a prime Biennale site. It is a privilege to be at the Tese Deli Soloto and to know that this year so many more people are likely to come to the New Zealand Pavilion. I'm in awe of what Lisa has achieved and I'm delighted that an international audience will now have access to work that is both technically brilliant and utterly profound. This pavilion, with its prox proximity to the historic shipyards of Venice, is a perfect setting for an artwork about peoples who braved the oceans to survive, expand and trade. New Zealand is the most recent major landmass to be occupied by humans, and we are a young nation. When the first Venice Biennale was held in 1895, it was just 55 years since the treaty had been signed between Māori and Queen Victoria, which heralded the creation of our modern nation. Lisa has explored what that colonial relationship meant, not just for Aotearoa New Zealand, but for the indigenous peoples on the Pacific Rim who experienced similar encounters with Europeans then and up to the present day. In this time of global upheaval and tension, it is a work that resonates, reminding us as it does, to value and respect cultural difference and the dignity of human life in all its glorious diversity. Viva Arte Viva! this fabulous celebration of the creativity of the peoples of the world. Kia ora tato katoa.